You can search the hashtag SpaceCollaboration2020 on Instagram to see more photos. This collab was hosted by Dolly Mixtures and Astral Doll Project. Dolly Mixtures made a slideshow video of all the dolls, so a link to that will be below. I'll be using Nita Light for the base. She's missing an arm, so I will be giving her a different body. She came with this space pod that changes colors. I love this toy line and I really wish they were still in production. Look how cool this is. I'm going to use Katrine Demu's body and make her a cat-like alien. Once her head is off, I sand and spray the body with MSC. You can see that Novi Star's bodies are very cute with their proportions, but this particular one isn't articulated apart from the shoulders. I remove her hair with an electric shaver. The Novi Star heads like to float, apparently. I make an opening at the back of the head to access the inset eyes. I remove the factory eyes and make an opening for her new eyes. Her new eyes have a slit pupil with stars and glitter. Harley's Dollhouse made them for me and I'll link to her Instagram below. Her character design is inspired by Yuchiki. I'm sorry if I butchered that. It's a branch off of fairy key style with a space and alien motif. I made this collage for inspiration. I removed the factory paint with 100% acetone. I cut the neck peg and widen the neck hole so that the head will fit onto the body. Her head is that glow-in-the-dark off-whitish color, so I will be color matching it to her body. I use spray enamel white primer and it worked really well and gives good tooth. I tried it out on her stained arm and it stayed sticky, so this primer works really well on certain types of vinyl, but not others. While her head dries, I repaint these boots to fit with the pastel aesthetic. I will be repainting these Novi Star headphones as well.
I add stars using a white gel pen. Add glitter to the heart and her shoes are done. I paint the headphones with the same color scheme and add more glitter. I'll be adding cat ears later on. For the clothes, I use a bathing suit and skirt for their pattern. Add the hem lines around the skirt and add Velcro. The bathing suit will have an opening in the back for her tail. I add ribbon across the top and attach two more ribbons to make the halter top. I start her face and body up by blushing with pink and blue soft pastels. I seal her with MSC and then start sketching out the designs on her face and body. I dot on stars using white acrylic paint.
In between the purple lashes, I'm adding white lashes with acrylic. I give her two little fangs as well. I dust mica powder on the body and face for a shimmery effect. And of course she needs stars on her tail too. She's getting purple nail polish using acrylic paint. I use super glue to attach her lashes to the inside of the head. And I'm putting the final detailing on her face with watercolor pencils. I found the perfect bracelet for her and I'm painting the raised dots purple. I add the eyes and covered them in blue tack. I thought since they were really stuck in place by the plastic because I made as small of an eye opening as possible, just the blue tack would be enough, but no. No, 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 definitely it was not enough. I ended up having to take off her head and putting hot glue through the neck hole. That actually worked really well, but next time I do inset eyes, no matter how secure they seem at the time, I'll definitely be adding at the very least hot glue, or if you want a really strong and secure bond so you know for a fact they're not going anywhere, two-part epoxy clay would definitely do the trick. I wrap a ribbon around her tail and attach a bow. I add gloss to the lips and to her nails. I paint her scalp and attach wefts using super glue going in a circular pattern. Here's where I set her down for a little bit and then came back to her after a much needed mental break. Now that I felt recharged and fresh, I gave her half a ponytail and a bow. I added glitter to her hair part and I added a lot of big and little stars. Now that she's finished, I no longer need her model and can finish up the outfit. I wanted to make her a removable, futuristic hoop skirt. I spray paint the wires white and then add glitter. I attached the hoops together using ribbon and then I added bows. For the cat ears, I use Sculpey Polymer Clay. I made the speaker indentations in the ears and then baked. After they were done, I used two-part epoxy clay to attach them to the headphone band. I then added glitter and gloss over top, and the headphones are done. And here's our final look.
one of my favorite customs I've made so far. There were a lot of firsts for me with this doll, using a Novi star base, inset eyes, using one long hair weft. I learned a lot through trial and error, and I love how she came out. There's another Novi star repaint to come, so if you want to see that, hit subscribe and turn on post notifications by hitting that bell icon. Follow me on Instagram, and if you would like to support this channel, there's a link to my Kofi page below. And congratulations to the winners of my giveaway. Cute Dark Arts won the Demon Doll, and Candy Boulevard Dolls won the Littlest Pet Shop Spider Repaint. A huge, huge thank you to everyone who participated here on YouTube and on Instagram as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!